Warren Martin was born April 30, 1922, and attended Saginaw High School where he was a three-sport athlete. Warren was signed by the Chicago White Sox in 1941 after his junior year of high school, and he headed to Pasadena, California for spring training with the White Sox, but pitched for Saginaw that season. Martin finished high school that year after promising his mother he would graduate. In 1942, Martin was 9-9 nine nine with Madison, Wisconsin before serving three years in the U.S. Army during World War II. He always had a book, and it was of the 103rd Infantry Division, which is the division he was in, and it had a big cactus on it. That was the nickname of his division, and um, I always saw it there, but never paid a lot of attention to it, but then he did begin speaking of it, and he started corresponding with some of his uh, fellow veterans, and he did actually go to one reunion. But there were just a ton of good ball players who had been in either the majors or the minors and then interrupted and went into service and then came back. So the young kids that were coming up had a tough time trying to make it because they had good seasoned ball players who were playing at that time, and Warren was one of them. And I would say for Warren, if he hadn't, uh, uh, service hadn't interrupted his career, he'd, he'd have made the bigs. A, a young man from Saginaw to be on a roster of, you know, the most elite baseball players in America is really something to see. During the war, he fought on the front lines in France and ultimately received the Combat Infantry Medal and Bronze Star while serving with the 103rd Infantry Unit. Despite a knee injury that occurred while jumping into a foxhole, Martin returned to baseball in 1946 where he was 12 and 6 with Tacoma. The next season in Des Moines, he went 10 and 6 with a 4.68 ERA. Martin struck out 80 in 146 innings. In 1948, he won two games with Denver, striking out 39 in 98 innings. Martin would go on to post a 5 and 7 record with Saginaw in 1949. I had a tryout with the Saginaw Bears. I was just released from the Phillies. And uh, when it came time for batting practice, Warren was on the mound. And uh, the manager, I believe, was Dahlberg, I think his name was, I, I'm not positive. But uh, anyway, uh, Warren, uh, give me the straight ball signal, and he threw me about six or eight nice fastballs. And I got good wood on all six of them. Uh, then the manager says, throw him a deuce. So uh, Warren threw me a curve. I got good wood on that. He threw me four or five more curves, and I got good wood on everything that Warren threw because it was right down the, right down the gut. And you can hit a curve when you know it's coming. But uh, Warren had just signed, I believe, that year with the Bears. So uh, the manager uh, said, okay, that's good. So the manager took me aside, and uh, he offered me a contract. But uh, I'll have to give Warren credit for making me look good while he was on the mound. Still with the Saginaw Bears in 1950, Martin was 10 and 14 with a 4.32 ERA with 83 strikeouts and 109 walks in 199 innings. When he was winding down in baseball and was playing for the Saginaw Bears, you know, he had an opportunity to go up against Ryan Durham, who really got to be quite famous with, I think, the Yankees, and got a couple of hits off him, you know? I mean, those are fabulous things that, uh, that uh, you know, you'd never hear a guy like that brag about. He never really talked about it. He just tried to help his coach. He was a very good coach. When he coached my brother, because my brother went, played high school baseball and then Connie Mack baseball, and I think there's another league past Connie Mack and my dad was always the coach or manager of those teams. So that's how I heard a lot of stories. He knew how to handle the players, and he was, he was fun to be around during that time of period. He really is a throwback. He's a gentleman, and uh, he was a great baseball player, and you're right, he didn't get all the breaks. All told, he pitched 14 years of minor league baseball in the White Sox and Cubs organizations, rising as high as AAA before injuring his arm. Martin had a career record of 110 and 99. Warren played Major League Baseball at a time when really the elite of baseball played Major League Baseball. It was good. That generation of, of folks that uh, got out of school, got involved in the Second World War, helped us win our freedom for a lifetime, 
and came back to raise fam families as really good fathers. The men of that generation, they really are the greatest generation.